This is tutorial number 22, and it covers how to use the split line feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part file. Let's click File, and let's open up the split line part, which I've included in the DVD. Now this part, what I've made is a perfect sphere, and what we're going to do, and how we're going to use the split line tool, is we're going to make a drawing that's going to be in, on a plane that's inside of the sphere, and using the split line tool, we're able to transfer that drawing to the outside surface of the sphere. So to start off, let's open up the origin here, and let's look at the planes. Now, with this, each plane intersects the sphere, so you're able to choose any plane. For this one right now, let's choose the XZ plane. And if we rotate it around, you can see that it cuts it right in half. So we're going to draw on that plane and then using the split line tool it's gonna make that drawing go on the top and the bottom of the curved surfaces so it's gonna be like we're drawing onto a curved surface so now let's click sketch now one problem when you have the sphere already there I'll show you first is let's click line and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a triangle when you go to draw the triangle you kind of lose it each time and it's hard to get it back again. Let's click return. So what we're going to do, I was able to draw the sketch, but what we're going to do so that we can draw it a lot easier and we can see where we're going, first I'm going to delete this and then we're going to suppress this uh, feature that I've already made. So we're going to take away the sphere. So right click revolution one and we'll click suppress feature. So now the feature's gone, so we can see where we're sketching. So let's click the XZ plane, and let's click Sketch again. And now in the center, let's draw a little triangle. And you can draw any shape you want for this, as long as it's going to be inside of the circle. Click Return. Now let's right-click on the Revolution 1, and let's unsuppress it. So now if we look at our sketch, let's click on it, we can see that it's inside the sphere. So it has to be inside of the sphere or the object that we want to split line it to for it to work. It can't be half in and half out. So now let's go down the split line. Let's click split. First what we're going to do is we're going to have to split. We're going to have to choose the sketch that we just drew. So let's click that. And then the second one what we have to do is we have to click the face. So we're going to click the sphere that we made. So let's click that. And it gives you a little preview that it's going to jump out onto both sides. Click OK. And now we can see that we have a sketch on the top and we also have a sketch at the bottom if we rotate it around. And having these sketches on the surface we're able to do different things. We can extrude and make like a cut through it like that. You can do many things, but the split line tool is just a tool pretty much to get your flat drawing onto a curved surface. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the split line feature with an Autodesk Inventor.